Wednesday, you guys. Happy Wednesday, Franklin. Oh, we're starting the vlog in the middle of the week. Hi. I've had the best couple of days. I'm going to give you guys a bit of an update. But we're going to head to the gym this morning because I'm starting a brand new program. And I'm so excited. It's very gloomy and dark this morning. I'm so grateful we had nice weather while we were away. It's pouring rain, but yeah, I went away Sunday night. That's why I'm starting the vlog right now, but we went to this beautiful Airbnb in Upway, which is, I think, in the Dandenong Ranges. I will link the Airbnb in the notes. But yeah, we spent two nights there, three days, and it was incredible. It was so peaceful. It was so tranquil. We were just in the middle of the national park and it was incredible. It was actually so amazing and he had the best time and I'm glad, I'm glad that he enjoyed it. He said that he had a lovely time and he's thanked me so much and honestly, it was just perfect. <laughs> like it couldn't have been more perfect. And it was really, yeah, it was really wholesome and really special and I'm so happy. <laughs> I would definitely go back there. The Airbnb was absolutely incredible. It was, we both gave it five out of five. <laughs> the only bad thing was that there were leeches in the back area and we were both out there in the garden and in the leaves and we didn't notice, but he had two leeches on him and we only noticed when they fell off, they sucked his blood and they fell off and he was so unbothered. I was freaking out. He's a very unbothered king, bless him. But I was just like, oh, no, no, no. And obviously there were lots of insects and spiders and he caught and saved a spider and I was going to kill it. <laughs> but aside from that, it was, yeah, honestly, just the best. Like I have no words. And so I'm feeling really good today. It's obviously Wednesday. My Melbourne studio for the podcast opened on Monday, but I couldn't record yesterday because we checked out of the Airbnb and then we spent the day down at Safety Beach. And we just had a nice beach day to kind of take advantage of this weather, the nice weather while we had it. So today I'm actually recording the podcast. I've got a meeting this morning, the podcast recording from 12 till 2, a heap of editing this afternoon. And then I've also got to go and do a workout. So I'm going to quickly get changed. We're going to the gym. This is my activewear of choice. My Apple Watch is dead. That's really, really annoying. I'm so excited to do a workout because I haven't been since what? Did I go on Sunday? Yeah, actually I did. <laughs> okay. It hasn't been that long. Can you hear this? <laughs> Far out. Oh, I just took some progress photos as well because with the new program that I'm doing, the app prompts you to take like a front, back, and side. And I'm not doing this program to really change anything about how I look. I just want a different training structure and training routine to change it up. I, would, I need some change. And so I'm very keen to do this workout. It's still gonna be strength-based, so I'm not totally deviating from what I know. I obviously love lifting weights. I'm gonna keep lifting weights, but changing the movements, changing what days I do, things like that. So I'm gonna be doing this program for the foreseeable future. I'm not gonna obviously give you reviews right now, but I might walk you through the app later in the week. It's hot enough now. My hair is also long enough now. I need to be having a hair tie. It's hit the marker. Derek just rang me. He's like, you can come earlier, but I actually can't go earlier. And now I feel bad because he's got to go somewhere. But I said to him, I'm only going to record two episodes and it's just me. So we should be able to contain the time frame. Usually I would record on a Tuesday. So he did me a favor. So I'm going to try and like get ready as quickly as I can. I did the run sheets last night when I got home. So I know exactly what confessions I have, I know what questions I have, and it should be okay. I'm just whipping up egg and bacon rolls. I've honestly having withdrawals because I didn't have these while we were away. <laughs> Egg is runny. <laughs> My one is. Is yours? Mm. No, look, just a little bit. 
Mm. Perfect. I should have cooked mine more. Mum loves it as well, guys. Mm -hmm. I got us both cooked on it. <laughs> This is my hair after the gym and the humidity right now. I'm gonna have to take my straightener to the studio. I'm ready. Let's head off. I can't wait to see Derek. You'll notice, you guys, we have a different background. Derek has done a special something for the potty. Thank you, Derek. You're the best. Shucks. <laughs> He's literally behind the camera. <laughs> and this humidity is ruining my life. If I had um, product in my hair, like hairspray and curls, it would have been fine, but it's too fluffy because I washed it last night because I went to the beach. I recorded one potty and I'm going to change my top and record the next one. We are done! Shit, it's quarter to four. Anyway, it's fine. I am hungry though, so I need to eat something. I just got two of these. I probably could have eaten three or four, but it's close to dinner time, so I don't want to be too full. I just got tuna and cucumber. Still no Uber Eats. And I even walked from here to the tuna shop, to the sushi shop, instead of driving like I usually would. Trying to make better decisions. All right, I'm back. The PO box had M&M's, cookie dough. What the hell, let's open them. They sent two packets. We'll let you guys know how they taste. Oh, every time I say you guys, I'm talking to you watching. Someone said, what do you mean by you guys? I thought it was self-explanatory, but anyway. And then I got a delivery from Princess Polly because I'm gonna be working with them in January and I'm so excited because I shop at them and I love them. Welcome back. You're listening to Your Safe Space, hosted by me, Adele Marie. This I actually re-recorded tomorrow's episode today and Angel Sam did the first edit for me and I'm just doing the last edit right now because when I listened to the episode that I recorded last week when I did four in one day, it was the last one I recorded and I just didn't sound like myself. I actually sounded, the vibes were not good. Not for the first episode of Confessions and Questions so I redid it today and I'm so happy I did because I would have felt shit putting out an episode like that. I am my own harshest critic, I know, but I'm feeling so much better in this episode. Mwah. So good. This is what we're having for dinner. Some ravioli. I'm just gonna put some cheese on. Yum, can never have too much. Can you see Franklin? <laughs> I have been quite productive tonight. I did the edit for tomorrow's podcast, the final one, and then I also cut my own social clips. And I looked up some places to move. Very exciting. I'm going to call some real estate agents tomorrow. Go to a couple of inspections, hopefully this week. And just get that ball rolling. Because, yeah, that's like next on my to-do list. And I'm feeling a little bit sleepy tonight, truthfully. I put Franklin to bed. He was literally in my pillows. But it's 11.30 and I think I'm going to call it a night. Oh my god. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm so happy because I'm finally getting these crusty, dusty nails done. <laughs> Truthfully, they've been on since, what, December 23rd? And they've survived four beach days, <laughs> random shit, and the chrome is looking a little bit weird. I want to do Valentine's nails today, so I need to look up some ideas for that on Pinterest. And I've got to edit Sunday's podcast, film a brand deal this morning, do my workout. And then later tonight, I'm going to the tennis for a cute date night, which I can't wait. Is that charged? Yes! <laughs> it wasn't charged yesterday. I was curious to know my heart rate too. I'll be right back and then I can take you for a W. <laughs> I love you. Workout done, time to walk Frank. I think I might eat actually first because I'm a bit hungry. I'll leave that in here. I lied, we're going first. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got it. Oh, I know you're so excited. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, hang on. Mummy can't do it like that. Oh, apparently she can. <laughs> oh, very loud boy. All right. <laughs> 
Weather is a weird one today. Sun comes out and it's nice. Sun's not there, it's actually quite fresh. But we did a nice 30 minute walk. There you go, you wanna say hi to the camera? Mwah! Good job, Franklin nailed it. Love you, buddy. Just one today, but look at her, beautiful. I also think this bacon is okay, but I prefer actually just buying it from the deli instead of buying it from the supermarket. It's a bit fresher. So keep that in mind if you want to make this too. Feeling so much better after a quick shower. I'm just going to brush my hair and I'll curl it later because I don't want to put heat on it twice. Let's get into work. I'm going to film a YouTube video later too. Right now I'm just signing a contract for something coming up and going through whatever emails I have. I might leave for my nail appointment in about 45 minutes. I'm at my nail appointment, you guys. This is the inspo that we're working with. I still don't know what I feel like. I might do a combination of all of them and go from there. The reason that I'm doing Valentine's nails is because I will get my nails done again, literally right before Valentine's Day. And I don't want to have Valentine's nails past Valentine's Day, so I'm going to have them now so that then I can enjoy them up until Valentine's Day. And then, yeah, I'll get my nails done, what, mid-Feb. So, very excited. Time to go in so I don't, I'm not late. They're so just like feminine and soft and I definitely need to eat something now because it's 1.30. Time to head home, eat and then do some work and then get ready for the tennis. Still sticking to not using Uber Eats, I picked up some bacon, mortadella and a roll. We're going to go home and eat because I'm starving. Oh, I love a fresh bread roll. and fresh mozzarella, yum. It's quite windy out there today. Mm -hmm. Yum. Look at me just forgetting. I'm so lost in Chloe's advice <laughs> that I've forgotten podcast <laughs> I'm just cutting the social clips from Sunday's episode it's a great episode with Chloe I also had my campaign with JS health approved today I have featured this in the monthly favorites before and you guys know I've been using them for quite some time and I got to work with them in a paid capacity on my Instagram story today which is really cool and yeah I'm just gonna keep working until it's time to get ready can you also spot Franklin <laughs> Hi, buddy. All right, you guys, I'm ready. I'm heading off to the tennis. I'm actually gonna bring you along. So let's go have a really cute date night. tennis my goodness what a night what a night literally the tennis is still going right now there's a men's single match still going it's 3 a.m can i just add <laughs> we left the tennis at 2 a.m what am i doing on a thursday night a school night up at 3 a.m don't know don't ask me however however we watched an amazing women's singles match at 8 p.m and they had a tiebreaker that 
just kept going and going and going and oh my god it was amazing and such a great game and then the men's match we were just hooked we just didn't want to leave but we realized that it wasn't going to finish anytime soon i reckon it'll finish like close to 4 a.m so i was like we better just call it a night and head home and i'm tired like you can probably see it on my face i am not well <laughs> so i'm gonna say good night and i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm not gonna set an alarm because three four five six seven that's four hours sleep i need to at least sleep to like nine tomorrow so yeah sleep is number one thank god thank god i have just admin -y editing type of stuff tomorrow i don't think i have to film any campaigns which is a blessing because i reckon i'm gonna wake up feeling like trash <laughs> anyway good night i'll see you in the morning good morning hello franklin hi sweetie guys look at the time <laughs> i know good morning big stretch good morning you guys i'm gonna be real with you i'm having a very bad mental health day today so we're gonna try and turn it around because even though i just want to lay in bed and rot <laughs> i know that's actually probably gonna make me feel worse so i did call my therapist this morning and i've moved my psychology appointment to tuesday which is good because as long as i can get to tuesday i'm gonna be okay i've got a list let me take my retainer out hang on all right i've got my coffee and yeah, I'm going to be alright, guys. It's, I guess, just part of having mental health issues, you know. Not every day is going to be a great day, and that's okay. But I have, like, some steps in place to just make myself feel better. And, yeah, we're going to do that. It's not anything particular. It's just a bad day. <laughs> first things first. Can you see my eyelids? <laughs> alright. There's nothing wrong with crying. But I do want to not have puffy eyelids this morning so i'm just gonna ice them oh that feels so good when you cry too hard and you wake up looking like a bloody puffer fish <laughs> and i'll put some eye drops in as well and hopefully that takes away the redness this is to take away the swelling just put them in paper towel but you might even need to put them in a like actual little hand towel because that's probably a bit too cold to put directly in my face Spoons work as well if you want to put some spoons in the freezer. Look at that. Already coming better. I also just got my period. So that probably doesn't help. Uh, I've got a lower body day in the gym. And I got the worst blisters on my feet last night from those shoes. Which is low key a little bit annoying because I thought, oh, I walked heaps in them in Europe but nope <laughs> we walked quite a bit last night and um, I had to get band-aids to put on the back of my heels like on the back of my Achilles all right let's go all right I'm looking like normal <laughs> thank god this is my mood before the gym mind you I'm like looking like normal I'm like holding it together all it takes is like someone to just go like Choo! and then I'll just shut up <laughs> that's how I feel oh all right Adele just get to Tuesday it's lower body day so I expect to be quite sweaty when I'm done all right and this is me after the workout I feel like I am coming good coming good can't beat endorphins swear to god the gym bloody love it time to eat though because that leg day is so much harder than the first leg day of this new program that I'm doing so I am feeling weathered and cooked but i am feeling like 10 percent better so a win is a win we're eating outside oh a little shake you were right i'm having a yogurt bowl i put blackberries in today just because i felt like something fresh i didn't feel like an egg and bacon mcmuffin i found a property that i'm going to go inspect on monday which i'm excited about i was meant to go to an in inspection tomorrow but it's on at like 12 30 and i'm working at the australian open so <laughs> i can't go to that one Anyway, I called the real estate agent because I was like, oh, I'll see if I can attend privately, like sometime today, even on Monday. And when I spoke to them, they told me that there were 67 people registered for the inspection tomorrow. And because of the volume of interest, 
they're not doing private inspections because when I lived in Sydney and I was renting, they used to do private inspections. So <laughs> I'm just like, shit, the rental market do be dire. <laughs> do be dire. It is dire. Anyway, I always tell myself, if not, there's something better. So whatever, what will be, will be. But yeah, at the same time, I'm excited. I can't wait to see the one on Monday. He hasn't gotten off me, literally, since he climbed on when I started journaling. And I've just been editing, getting the podcast episodes for next week ready because I'm recording on Monday next week instead of Tuesday. I've got less time to prepare and I've got a busy weekend. And you are being a little baby today. I love you. Can I have a kiss? Snack break. Franklin also ditched me. He's gone in his little bed in the front room. I have been getting, I watched the half edit of the vlog, which the vlog is gonna be short this week, so I'm so sorry about that. I say that, but then I might be chatty and it might be the same length, who knows. I also got Sunday's YouTube video ready. Sunday's podcast is ready. Uh, what else am I doing? Run sheets. I have to record three on Monday. I thought it was just two, it's actually three, but I know what I'm doing. So I'm actually happy with my efforts despite being a little bit sad today. <laughs> Thank you. I just got a cheesy. Oh, it's very oily. Mm. Is it cold today? Mm -hmm. I'm a bit cold. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to find a way to get the actual McDonald's cheese. <laughs> mm. Well, that cheese that you that you found is... Mm. It's now time to wash my hair. And I'm gonna put my pajamas on. And I know it's so early, it's like, what? 7 p.m. now? <laughs> I'm tired, I'm ready for bed. I've got a bit more work to do, but I just thought I'll do it now and then I can just sit in front of my computer in my PJs. That felt so good. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? It looks so weird like that. <sighs> feels so much better. It's good to be in PJs at like <laughs> 7.38 p.m. Oh, who would have thought I'd be in a better mood come the end of the day? <laughs> Part of me is like, you should not post those clips from this morning. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? It's normal. Not everyone's going to feel happy every single bloody day. Not even me. And I know I have a very blessed life. There's lots to be grateful for. But it's just a reminder that, you know, you never really know what someone's going through, especially mentally. Especially if they have mental health issues, like it's not always what it seems. And I think if I didn't put it in, it would just lead to that whole, well, social media is a highlight reel, you know? So it's definitely not. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it honest and transparent and not every day is going to be a good day. And I managed to turn it around and make myself feel better and also have the best people in my life who I've lent on quite a bit today. And I moved my therapy appointments, so... As long as I can get to Tuesday, I'm all right. Doing much better. But I'm gonna do a bit more work, I think. All right, I have just been working on the final edit for Sunday. And this episode is 51 minutes long. I'm so happy with that. I'm gonna export it now. So I just use Premiere Pro and I'll show you. You just click export and I export it as an mp3 because that's what I need like that's the audio for the podcast I don't know why I'm showing you bts and I'm going to title it 
as what is it it's um oh it's episode 17 oh my god hang on <laughs> i can't hold you guys and type at the same time so it's episode 17b and it is the final edit and that will just save to the downloads and then you just click down here export yes it is 9 30 right now and then it just exports it for you and it doesn't take that long it's taking a little bit longer than usual because this is a long episode but within literally a minute it's done and then i can upload it into acast i am going to be literally out all day tomorrow you'll see <laughs> and i would work on a saturday sometimes so it's not a big deal but i just physically don't have time so that's why i'm like i may as well just get as much as i can done tonight and then i might call it and try to get in bed by like 10 because your girl is sleepy i've now uploaded that same mp3 file into acast that's the platform i use you can even record straight into it like from your computer or mic or whatever but i just prefer to do that and then down here you put the title you put oh these are all the old ones that i've got in there and then it's season two and i'm pretty sure this is episode 28 which is crazy we're halfway through season two i think and then you put like the show notes down here so i'll wait till that goes live and then i'll just double check that it's the right one because i i do save everything to the same For your safe space yeah podcast. see how it's the same 5146 he's giving baby <laughs> how are you sitting Good night, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. We have a fun day planned and I'm excited to get out of the house and, yeah, not be in my brain. <laughs> not be in my thoughts. Rise and shine, everyone. I am tired. But we're going to the tennis and I'm excited. Oh. Doesn't feel like it's Saturday. Honestly, my week feels all over the place again just because of being away at the start and then recording on a different day and who knows what's going on. <laughs> I hope that the sun makes an appearance today. Don't you agree? So cute. And I have no idea what I'm gonna wear. It's currently 8 a.m. so I'm gonna start getting ready in a minute and then the day of back-to-back -back events begins. I've got a dinner tonight, I'll explain that later, and then I've got Sam's birthday. You know Sam, editor Sam, it was her birthday on Thursday. So yeah, we're going to celebrate tonight. Oh, feeling so much better after that. We were going to end up catching the train in today because it's probably a little bit more convenient. But I just checked the timetable and there's buses replacing like quite a bit of the line. So it's actually going to take way longer than driving. So I'm just like far out. I should drive and then walk like it'll be about a 15 minute walk from where i park the car but i think it's actually quicker than the bus and the train mum's just gone out because she had an appointment this morning so i've got to quickly get ready before she gets back hair and makeup done all right we're picking the outfit now i lied i'm actually making breakfast first because we need to eat before we get there we will eat food there we're going to take some snacks as well but i don't want to go with an empty tummy Mum looks so cute. We'll do a fit check before we leave. Mum's. Mine. Quickly got changed. Yum. Mm. <laughs> Very runny. <laughs> Alright, we are ready. This is my fit, Mum. This is my fit. <laughs> Show us the shoes. I'm in my Birks. I'm in my Birks sneakers. <laughs> I have the worst blisters. There's no way that I could wear my sneakers, which is low-key annoying. Don't know if I want to show you my blisters because then I have to show you my dogs and low-key don't want to do that for free. We're literally on Punt Road. I've parked. We're just walking to the courts over there. It's so good that the clouds are out, otherwise I think we would be dying right now. It's quite muggy, but still a beautiful day. We're just going to walk around and then we'll go head into Rod Lane. Okay, they're about to start playing. These are our seats. Just got some bow buns. This is gonna be our bunny. 
much. We're not that hungry. We got us one each. We have a tie break at the moment. Time to head home. It's 4.30, enough time that I can freshen up, get ready before I go out again. Did you have a good day, Mum? I had the best day ever. It was so fun. Thank you so much. You know what? Even though it's like overcast and not that hot, it was hot. It was... Our seats were in the shade. Thank goodness. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> Otherwise, we would be even more sweatier than what we are now. I've got the aircon on. I need to pump it to this level. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> I just got home and look what Franklin has done <laughs> to my bed fully unmade it just made himself at home well I guess it is your bed too buddy I'm running so late but I'm gonna leave you guys here I got changed I refreshed my makeup and I'm gonna head out I'm still gonna bring you along I'm just gonna bring this camera I'm gonna just vlog on my mobile so let's go before I'm really really late I literally nearly left without the belt for the skirt am I all right <laughs> What the hell? Get it together. My brain's not working. It's honestly not been working all year. <laughs> right, we're fine. We're good. We're gonna go. All right. am and my night was amazing exactly what I needed and I don't know if I told you this but the dinner I had was actually with Jessie Wright it was hosted by her some of you might recognize her name she is the girl that was doing 52 dinners with 52 strangers over on TikTok and I was dinner number 28 and tonight she had a final dinner for all of us where she invited 52 of us that she had dinner with to meet each other it was beautiful. The room was filled with so much love, with so much inspiration, with just the most beautiful people. And it was really special and just reminded me of like how cute humans are <laughs> and how hard it is to make friends and how I just needed that after the day I had yesterday. Oh, and look at this. Wait, 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 I'll show you. She got these embroidered. They were our serviettes and she said we could take them home. But it said, this is your sign to make a new friend. So I'm sharing it with you guys and this is your sign to make a new friend. And so I'm in the best mood and yeah, it was great. And then after that, I went to Sam's birthday and I didn't know any of Sam's other friends. So it was like kind of wholesome because I was like, oh, I can make new friends as well. And yeah, we went out and it was so much fun and it's, I'm tired. It's 2 a.m. So <laughs> I'm going to quickly shower and go to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I'm so tired. I feel like I've been run over. <laughs> I feel like I need to sleep for like three to five business days. I barely slept probably Thursday night. I barely slept probably Friday night. And when I say like I barely slept probably like I can close my eyes and I can go to sleep but I keep waking up. I keep having like thoughts I can't stop. I keep having like nightmares. I keep like my sleep is very interrupted and very broken and even last night like I literally like KO'd <laughs> in my bed and I'm just like so hot and I feel like I've run a marathon like in my bed. The fuck? Got my coffee. I am going to go to the gym because I've got one more day of my program and I'll show you behind the scenes in the app and what it looks like because I promised and I've got a shit ton of work to do but that's okay weather's absolutely crap and it's fine I am happy to do that because I'm recording tomorrow and I just want to make sure I've got everything organized and good to go because Feb is gonna be busy my calendar for Feb is giving October last year I'm finally awake you guys and I'm gonna wash the sheets. All right, I've actually made progress. My acting wears on. <laughs> it's a really lazy day for me today. I don't even know why I'm so wrecked. Actually, I do know why I'm so wrecked. Ignore that. <laughs> Got 
got me a towel. I'm going to walk, I think, on the treddy in here, so I'm just going to bring these two. <sighs> you can do hard things, Adele. You can do this. This is the app I just want to show you guys. So it has everything in there that I like plus more. I haven't really filled it out too much. There's a period tracker and a food diary. I'm just utilizing the workouts. So there's other programs that they run in here, but I just go into this tab and then I've got my workout program, which is customized for me based on my goals and what I want. When I signed up, I had to fill out some, a couple of things and then um, they did include a meal plan in my program, but I don't really use it. I just eat what I've been eating. Anyway, this is my workout. I'll just show you what I did today. So this is day four. You can see here, like this was my first exercise, which I showed you in the vlog. I did zero weight, sadly, because that was really hard. And I just wrote, I did the empty bar down here. And as you do it, like you can make alterations if you want, but you just fill it out as you go. And I just love it. It's so easy to use. And I guess that was one of the reasons that I wanted something different. Not that there was anything wrong in how my old coach did things. Each coach is going to be different. Each app is going to be different. Each platform is different. I didn't have an app with my last coach. It was uh, Google Sheets or Google Docs. I think it was Google Sheets. Anyway, I just really love the convenience and the ease of using the app. This is my first week on the program and I'm enjoying it, but I think I will give a better review once I'm finished the program. But I also want to do like an in-depth kind of workout video for the channel if you guys are keen on that as well, where I get mic'd up and I run you through kind of a session. I did one of those videos back when I first started and it's been a hot minute, so maybe that could be on the cards too. Let me know if you want that. It's lunchtime, but I'm going to have brekkie. A bit delayed. This came back in stock as well, by the way. And I ended up buying quite a few bags. And that's how the bacon and egg situation started which I could have gone for that as well today but I just need something quick because I need to get stuck into work of course the strawberries are all from the garden it actually looks so good I wish I had passion fruit to be honest so I could like sprinkle that through but yum somehow I had an extra episode up my sleeve so I only have to do two apps tomorrow and I have done the run sheet for half of one episode so I've still got a bit of work to do but I'm feeling relief because I was feeling slightly overwhelmed I'm like what am I gonna do for three episodes and ah, but I have an episode up my sleeve and I forgot about it so thank you past version of Adele for doing that I'm at the laundromat though because it's raining so my sheets are not gonna dry on the line today <laughs> And now we come back in an hour. I'm actually hungrier, so I found this in the pantry. <laughs> it's just a bread roll. It's so dark, I need the bloody lights. And I'm gonna just make a quick mortadella situation and then we have the tomatoes from the garden which always go down a treat oh i don't know why is this <laughs> is that all right to eat oh yeah it's soft on the inside nice perfect honestly that workout actually made me quite hungry oh this is gonna be good i also did pepper Look at that. Right. Mm. What bread is this? It's not nice. It's alright. It's from Baker's Delight. It's just doughy. <laughs> Time for a post lunch dessert. A sweet treat, if you will. No. It's that time of week where. We do our joy. So, last week we did blue. I have all these colors. I think I'm gonna go for green today. And I'm gonna tell you guys what it is. It is, wow, it's week three, what the hell? Um, but my joy this week is last night, the dinner. 
honestly so beautiful so wholesome i have to do it and it yeah filled my cup up so much and i'm gonna call it dinner with 52 strangers and jesse my girl because if it wasn't for her that wouldn't have happened perfect Thirty, and I'm going to call it a wrap on the work. I'm going to have a shower and then I'm going to put the bed back together as well. All right, well, I feel better after a shower. I love a hot shower, but I didn't wash my hair, obviously. I'm going to head out in maybe an hour. So I was like, I'm going to put a wave in it, make myself feel cute. And this can be my issue when I get home because I just couldn't be bothered doing it right now before I leave. When I say out, I mean, I've got a little date night. However, it's gonna be very chill, which is why I'm literally in this active wear <laughs> You know what I was also thinking when I move? I think I'm gonna get a new mattress. I literally had, have had this mattress since Sydney and I think it's got bad juju on it. <laughs> in the sense that just like, you know, fresh start, I want fresh everything. I want a fresh start when I move. For the record, I don't mean literally, I mean energetically. <laughs> There's a mattress protector on there and nothing's on it. I just mean energy-wise. It's got bad juju. A lot of my Sydney things, and it's probably me just, you know, being me. <laughs> a lot of my Sydney things give me bad juju. I still have boxes that I've never touched since I moved back because PTSD. So I'll have to unpack those demons whenever I move. All right, finally done. I worked up a bit of a sweat doing that. And I am going to love you and leave you guys and say thank you for joining me for another weekly vlog. I'm so happy to be back. I really did miss you guys over the break. And yeah, I feel like I'm maybe this week getting back into the swing of it. My routine and everything has still been a little bit all over the place just because you know, I've been away and had quite late nights this week, but I hope to kind of sort that out as we head into the end of this month and into a personally busy February. But it's the end of the week. I hope that you guys have a great week ahead. If you're going through it right now and you're not feeling great, let yourself cry. Cry. Like, there's nothing wrong with being sad. We're all going to have sad feelings and, like, heavy emotions, and that is normal. There's nothing wrong with you. If you need extra help, whether that is to call a friend, to book in a therapy appointment, to take your medication, do it, okay? I will check in with you guys next week. Can't wait for my therapy appointment. Overall, I'm feeling a little bit better today. My mental health score is probably like a four out of 10. It was like a one out of 10 on Friday, uh, but yeah, we carry on. Anyway, I just wanna keep it real with you and I appreciate your support as always and I will see you guys very soon. I love you so much, bye.